We played the game hard. We played it right. We were playing the 1927 Yankees. We were going to win. That's just the mindset that we had that year. Didn't matter. He's got it. The Tigers are the champions of 1984. Whether it be offense, defense, and we had a leader. Our mentor was Sparky Anderson, and uh, make no mistake about it, he was the captain, captain of the ship. And with that combination, that's a pretty good trifecta to have. And uh, you know what, again, just a dream year. Confidence starts at the top. And I'm sure when Sparky ran out, stood on that line, he knew he could probably see guys come out and say, we, we, we got this, we got this. Here's the way the Tigers stack up offensively. Lou Whitaker at second base and Alan Trammell at shortstop. Here we go. The first pitch of game five. But I don't remember Sparky having some big speech. I think it was more of, you know, he knew that we had come in, we had swept to Kansas City. You know, there were some words said, but there wasn't any some big, you know, Nuke Rockney, you know, win-win for the Gipper kind of thing. It was just more of, you know, do what you've been doing, so to speak, you know, and we had done quite well up to that point. And you know what? We carried it through to the through the World Series. Yeah, these guys came up with key clutch hits whenever we really needed them. And they will walk Gibson, I believe, with Harris coming up. The one thing that I remember, and uh, I mean, I can actually hear and see Sparky talking to Gibby about, he doesn't want to walk you, you know, big boy, you know, swing the bat like that, doing his little waggle there. He don't want to walk you. He don't want to walk you. So he didn't want to put him on base. He wanted to pitch to him. He thought he could strike him out. So, but we know what happened. He as a long drive to right, and it is a home run for Gibson. A three-run homer, the Tigers lead it, takes the four in the eighth inning. At that time, I believe, you know, that was the one time that I thought that, uh, you know, we're not going to go back to San Diego, that we've, we've got this thing won. The pitch, he swings, and there's a fly ball to left. Here comes Herndon, he's there, he's got it! The Tigers are the champions of 1984! Well, that morning, <laughs> my second daughter was born, so I, my go. daughter was born the day we won the World Series. She was born that morning. Probably we went in there. about 4 o'clock in the morning. That was it, you know, that, you know, having a baby and winning the World Series the same day, you know. If I could repeat it, I'd like to have that champagne bottle, you know, in my hand. And there was a photographer to take a picture of me with this bottle and just putting it up there. You know, just thinking back and I'm shaking my head. It was just something, again, that uh, we wanted so bad. 84, it, uh, we couldn't have scripted it any better. Even if you don't win, it's the way you went about the performance. When we took the field, we loved the game. And uh, it was just a, a year that you, we can't compare to no other year, 1984. <laughs>